Hey guys, so it's the review of the unofficial Sanogen mode 10.1 for your Samsung Galaxy S3. So this ROM is running on the Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And here you can just see I'm running the Sanogen mode 10.1. So in this ROM, you'll get most of the features of the Jelly Bean installed and most of the and all of them will work perfectly and smoothly. The Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything works perfectly and smoothly in this ROM. And in the settings menu, you have many customizing options here. In the launcher option, you can just change the grid size, increase the home screen count. You can change the transition effect. And there are many other customizing options. In the drawer option, you can hide the apps that you want to hide. You can change the transition effects. And there are many other options available. So just have a look here and below you have the lock screen option from here you can just change the background of the lock screen you can change the slider shortcuts and in the system option you have lots of options available here in the status bar option you can just change the clock style battery status style signal status style and you can also add just the brightness by sliding across the status bar here and in the quick settings panel you can just choose what settings you want to be displayed on the quick settings panel and there are many other options also available here so just check it and in the notification drawer option you can also add a power widget to, to the notification bar here you can just see and in the power menu you can just choose what option you want to be displayed on the power menu Similarly, you have options for the navigation bar, clock widget, hardware keys. So just check the system option here. And in this ROM, you will get all the features of the Android 4.2.2, like the Daydream here. So this ROM is very fast, smooth, and stable right from the lock screen. You will have the Jelly Bean lock screen and you can add widgets to your lock screen. And swiping to the left will take you to the camera. And the camera works perfectly in this ROM, but unfortunately you don't have the photo spare. And in this ROM, you will also have the CRT of animation. Now let's go to the app menu. You will have many useful apps pre-installed like the Apollo Music Player, DSP Manager to improve the sound quality, File Manager. And in the notification bar, sliding down with two fingers will lead you to the quick settings panel which is totally customizable. And in this ROM you will get the Jailbin style recent app menu from where you can just slide the apps to close them or just click it to open them and you will get all the Jelly Bean widgets in this ROM all the Jelly Bean widgets are available and you can just see the smoothness of this ROM this ROM is very fast smooth so guys that's all about the review part of this ROM this is uh, this is a very good ROM and the battery life of this ROM is awesome so just give this ROM a try and have some experience in the Android 4.2.2 so that's all. If you have any query, just comment below or hit me on Facebook and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.